Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. This is Tripti and in this video I'll be talking about 3 DSA mistakes or 3 common mistakes you should avoid while studying data structures and algorithms. So starting off with the first one, I would like to say stop using random resources. Like when you're sitting down to study, if you have taken a course, that's well and good because in a course, everything is structured there. You can just study everything from there and you can practice questions present there or maybe from other websites. But if you are not uh, studying from a course, you are following uh, free resources, then in that case, I would suggest you plan out a whole approach that from uh, which all sites or which all resource are you going to study which data structure or which algorithm you have that thing planned out initially at the beginning only because if you don't do that so you might end up studying different things from different resources and that might confuse you so make sure that you have a planned thing like you have a planned workflow so that you don't get confused in between that where should i proceed next Second uh, mistake that I would like to say is uh, to avoid is sticking on to one data structure for too long. If you're studying one data structure, no, so at times it feels like we are maybe not a master at that particular topic or data structure, I'll say. Don't try to achieve that because when you're studying data structures, I, as you move forward, you'll realize a lot of things are interconnected or a lot of times when you study a current concept it helps you to understand the previous concept better so that is why just try practicing try understanding uh, the whole concepts and keep moving forward don't be stuck at one point it can be anything any particular data structure or any algorithm so this was the second mistake and the third mistake that i'd like to say is stop imagining all the things uh, you know while you're writing the code either imagine how the approach is going to work and formulate an approach before you write the code i mean what i'm trying to say is uh, like find out the logic figure out the logic and maybe write a pseudo code maybe play with test cases on your pen and paper doing that will help you write the code easily because if you directly sit down to write the codes on your system you will get confused and this tip is especially for recursion because at times people get confused that how is the recursion working and not able to code it down. So nobody is asking you to figure it out how it's working while you're coding down the solution. Just figure out an approach like assume that the recursion is going to get you an answer, write the whole code and then dry run it. Then you'll be able to understand how your code is working. So instead of imagining everything, try to uh, write a logic for it. And in case of recursion, just follow this approach that yeah, your recursive call is going to fetch you the solution to the smaller part. And I'm going to assume that I'm getting the solution and move forward with that. And that's how you'll be able to do things, proceed with it and definitely dry run your uh, codes, dry run whatever is there in front of you, play with test cases as much as you can. So this was about it for this video. I hope you liked it and if you did, please like and share it with your friends. And obviously if you have any doubts, please write them down in the comment section. And that's it for this video and have a nice day.